Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be explaining how binary search works using Python. The way binary search works is that we take the middle element of a list. If the middle element matches the target, we return the target or the index of the target. If the target is bigger than the middle element, then what we want to do is return the sublist before that middle element. And then vice versa, if the target is smaller than the middle element, we want to return the sublist after the middle element. So for this reason, this algorithm is quite good for larger lists and will typically be much faster than linear search, for example. So for example, if we had a list of a thousand elements, in the worst case scenario for a linear search, you would have to search through all a thousand to find the element in the worst case scenario. But in the worst case scenario for binary search, the amount of searches would be log of n because we split the list in half each time. Binary search has a prerequisite that the list must be sorted before we search. This is because when the target is compared to the middle element, the assumption is made that all of the elements before the middle are smaller and all the elements after the middle are bigger. So to begin, we're going to need to set the index of the first element in the list and the index of the last element in the list. So for a normal list, well, for the original list, this will just be zero and the length of the array minus one. Now we're gonna have a while loop that checks that the, the low index is smaller than or equal to the high index. Now, in this while loop, the first thing we want to do is get the index of the middle element. So we're gonna call it mid, and it's going to be equal to high plus low, let me space it out, divided by two. We're using floor division because we don't want any decimals. So if the target element equals the element at the middle of the array, then we simply just return mid. So let's implement that. Um, mid. So this would be this would be the index of where target is in the array. So if this is not the case, let's say that target is greater than the element at the middle of the array, then we want to return the sublist after the middle. So if target is greater than the middle, then we'll set low to now equal mid plus one. So this basically creates a new list in a way where we're forgetting about all the elements before the middle or and up to the middle. And then in the other case where target is smaller than the middle of the array, we want to make high equal to mid minus one. So every time we get to here, the array is going to get smaller if we don't find the mid. So eventually we will find the mid if the target is in the array. But if it's not in the array, then we want to return minus one as the index because minus one is not in the list. So down here, we have an example. We have an array with a bunch of numbers and we have the target of 12, which you can see is in the array and it's at index five. So we're going to obtain the index from the binary search. And if the index is not equal to minus one, so if the index is found, we're going to say we found the index at this index. Otherwise, if the index is equal to minus one, we're going to say that the target was not in the array. So let's run it. So as you can see, 12 was found at index five. Let's try another one. Let's try 18. And yeah, you can see 18 found at index eight. Now, if we put in a number like 100, which isn't in the array, you see 100 not found in array. So I hope that this was helpful. 
And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you want a challenge, try and make this algorithm by using recursion. In this version, we didn't use recursion, but yeah, have a go at trying to make it using recursion. If you found this useful, please leave a like. And if you want to see more like this, then let me know.